we're chatting to Pete Boerter today, who had his 100th winner recently. Congratulations. Thank you. But as runners at Hollywood Vets Durban Vore on the 26th of October, your first runner is in race three. It's an open maiden over 1250. It's number eight, King Viserys. He's trying shorter distance again. Um, yeah, look, he's, uh, <laughs> he's a bit of a headache. He's, he's got the ability to, to win a race like this. Um, uh, quite surprised that he's still a maiden, you know, he, he, he works so well and um, he can do so much more than what he is doing. He, he, he just doesn't want to put it in. So been struggling a bit with him, but um, he's in a very good space at the moment. He's working very well and um, looking good. So hoping for a, hoping that he puts it in and we, we get a big run from him. Race five, it's an open maiden over a mile. You've got two runners. Firstly, number two, PJ. You're expecting an improvement over the mile? I'm hoping he does. Um, he, he's a very immature horse. Um, he, he's just taking forever to um, to mature and and start to do what uh, what we thought he was going to do already. Um, he's, he's a beautiful action horse, and you know his his work at home is is very nice. Um, when he's alongside another horse on, on his own, is just ears all over the show and yeah, you know comes down the track um, looking at everything and ducking for everything. So um, the, the penny just hasn't dropped to them yet. Um, but uh, but you know, we, we we are going a little bit further with him and and, and I'm hoping to see a much uh, much improved run. And number eight, Garden Sun, is for your dare to dream racing syndicates. Yeah, he, he ran a, a great race last time. I think that was going to be his last chance for us, you know. Um, also, also a horse which I think will, will just get better with a, with a lot more time. Um, but he's improving and uh, I, I hope that we can we can see another another run like he, like he gave us last time. And in race six, it's a Cape Sea Stakes over 2,000 meters. You've got Baton Rouge. Last time he tired out in the last couple of furlongs. Yeah, look, at, uh, he, he's a horse which uh, we, we thought quite a bit of and um, he, he struggled a bit in the, in the he, heavy gain and, um, you know, we couldn't get enough, enough work into him after that as well. So there's no real excuses for him uh, tomorrow. Um, he's, he's working well, he's looking good and, and uh, we, we're just hoping to see him return to form. And in race nine, it's a class four for fillies and mares over 12.50. You've got number 10, Lady Lacewing. It's her second run for your stable. Yeah, look, I think she's um, still not ready and, and probably going to go a little bit further as, as well. So um, this is just another run to try and bring her on, bring her to, to where she needs to be. Um, so, so, yeah, we, we don't have high expectations. Um, you know, if she can be back end of quartets, we'll be very happy. And your last runner is in race 10. It's a class five over 12.50. Number eight, Niall the Boss. She, she's very well um, and, 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 and been so consistent uh, of late. Um, you know, always, always tries her hardest. And um, I, I think that um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pity about the, the wide draw. Um, I, I just feel that she's in such a good space at the moment and um, she, she's got to be a, a big runner tomorrow.